So about a month ago, I was on Twitter in bed. I couldn't sleep. It was 5 a.m. Just browsing through Twitter, checking trending. I noticed Jungkook. Uh, Jungkook, what? Jungkook? However you say his name. One of the members from the popular K-pop band BTS was trending. And I was like, oh, wonder why he's trending. Anything tasty? So I check the trending tab, and all I see is this. Jungkook baby. Jungkook pretty. Jungkook perfect. Jungkook eyes. Jungkook funny. Kind. Talented. Beautiful. Dancer. Singer. Rapper. Lovely. <sighs> Just endless. Endless compliments to this guy. I, this was all I could find. Pages and pages of just the same things being spammed and I couldn't understand why. And then I noticed something underneath one of these compliment posts, whatever the fuck. It said, copy and paste to clear this baby search. These fans almost stopped me finding out the real reason why Jungkook was trending because I couldn't be bothered to go through all these compliments and I genuinely just thought that was why he was trending. A normal person who isn't looking for like news or YouTube news, or whatever, like I was, wouldn't have gone through all that. They would have given up. They were just like, whatever, this is stupid K pop spam I don't care about. But after I saw that, I knew something had happened. There was something being covered up. I'm like a goddamn bloodhound. You give me a little scent, just a tiny scent. I'm not gonna stop until I find the cause and why he's trending. I need to know what they're hiding from me. So after a while of searching and searching, I finally find out why. It's because he got in a car crash in which he caused. I found a tweet that said, Jungkook car accident summary, November the 2nd. Jungkook and his Mercedes hit a taxi driver while violating a traffic law. Both Jungkook and the taxi driver treated for minor injuries. Please investigating the case. That was it. That was like the only tweet I could find about it. So clearly, these K-pop fans were literally trying to clear the search results on Twitter and all the trending tabs so no one would find out he caused a car accident. Because in their eyes, sweet little jungle cock, he can't do anything wrong. And apparently now, these crazy K-pop fans, which I had no idea about, if you make a mistake and they don't want it to trend, and they don't want people finding out about it, they will try to clear your searches. I mean, what the fuck? The fans are like his own PR machine. He doesn't even need someone doing his PR. The fans have seemingly got his back, which is really dangerous if you think about it. So I saw this. I was up at 5 a.m. I didn't think anyone would really notice or care because it's not really like something I cover that often. More YouTube stuff. If you make a mistake, especially if you're in the public eye, no one should try and cover up for you. You need to learn from your mistakes. You can't just cover up someone's mistakes to make them look perfect. You know, no one's perfect. I tweeted this out. Well, this is a problem. Jungkook, a member of BTS, caused a car accident and now his fans are spamming keywords with his name to bury the fact he did anything wrong. This is why stands are dangerous. They can see no wrong in their idols and will do anything to cover up any mistakes. So I pointed out the problem of what I saw, but it wasn't crazy. It wasn't like, arrest Jungkook now, throw him in a cell. Like, it wasn't anything mental. I was just pointing out his dangerous behavior from his fans, but no. Apparently, I started fucking World War 3. And this is at 5 a.m. Like, I'm still kind of like trying to fall asleep. But then this tweet instantly just blew up. Instantly. Like, I think it got like 5,000 likes in like an hour or something. It reached like 10,000 likes overall, but blew up. My mentions for the first week of that post were just non-stop. And I mean, if you didn't know already about K-pop fans, you would think, you would think that K-pop fans would be harmless. You would think they'd be just, you know, little girls who are just, you know, cute and listening to this kind of music, dancing a little, I don't know, like, you wouldn't think what they are is what they are. And I'll fucking tell you what they are. It's like being in The Walking Dead and just a horde of zombies are just grabbing you and trying to maul on you. Genuinely, I've never had such a strong reaction to something I've tweeted. Fans instantly trying to report me over this tweet. Legions of them screenshotting my tweet and telling people, should we do the same for him? Referring to falsely reporting me and trying to get me banned from Twitter. BTS daily stats. Please take a moment to report and block. Protect Jungkook tweeted out. Please help in reporting these accounts. Don't engage. Over 700 likes on that tweet. Someone replied to my tweet, too late, Clout Chaser. You've been cancelled and reported. I don't know how this is going to help. Should have thought twice before tweeting. Good luck and goodbye to your account, buddy. Kiss your account goodbye. We reported you already, boomer. Well, but my report can't be undo. Great English there. Oh, I'm an idiot. We're talking about K-pop fans. Not only did these deluded 
K-pop fans think they had me banned now, it was guaranteed. Apparently I was also going to go to jail. You're going to jail, baby, adding Big Hit Entertainment, who like manage BTS. Somehow they're under the impression that I was going to jail based on this tweet. These people are fucking morons. And trust me when I say they were serious. They were posting two page documents to me and any of my viewers defending me or calling them out as well. They treated it as this gospel that they would post to anyone who dares say anything negative about BTS. That would scare us, apparently. No. I don't want to bore you with this pile of dog shit, but please just let me read out a little bit. Just a little few bits of key info. Big Hit regularly initiates legal proceedings against malicious activities related to BTS, including ill-intentioned criticism, the spread of groundless information, personal attacks and defamation, following our internal procedures. To these fans, like, this was a big got you moment. Oh, you're going to jail, we've got you now. Big Hit Entertainment are gonna lock you up. And anything you say, any ill-intentioned criticism, basically saying you can't say anything bad about BTS in a negative light. Because apparently, only criticism you can give them is positive criticism, whatever that is. If it's ill intentions, then, mate, you're gonna get sued. But let's give it a go, let's see what happens. I don't hate BTS at all, I don't even listen to them. But I just want to see if Big Hit Entertainment are going to start suing me. So all you crazy K-pop fans, keep a keen eye out because, you know, you post this everywhere. So if they don't sue me now, what you're posting is complete and utter bullshit. Fuck you. BTS are a load of shit. I hate their music. I hate them. Here's some really ill-intentioned criticism. I think they should stop making music full stop. They're a bunch of talentless hacks. Now, get ready for that sweet lawsuit. To me, when I was reading that for the first time, it sounded like a 14 year old girl just wrote it up just so they could scare people who were talking badly about BTS. That is really what to me it sounded like. Apparently it's real though, so we will all see together if it is real. It's a massive cult, that is what it is to some of the fans. I'm not boxing every K-pop fan in, but the majority of the K-pop fans that we have all interacted with are these crazy motherfuckers and they know it. They know they're in some cult. A fan tweeted me saying, you must be new to our cult and get your information straight. The police were still investigating if he broke a traffic law. The fuck? It was also hilarious when the fans were trying to justify why they were covering it up. I do admit he did something wrong. I just don't want him to trend to feel even worse than he already is. Social media is an outlet where anyone can attack anyone and it's disgusting, so we're trying to not let that happen to JK. Trust me, I'm well aware that social media is an outlet where anyone can attack anyone. Actually, now I'm thinking about it, K-pop fans probably demonstrate this the best out of anyone on social media. Genuinely, out of any fans I've ever encountered, they take the cake. And in my career, I've encountered a few wee beasties, like the Jake and Logan Paulers, at their peak. Like, at their peak. But also, what is the excuse here? Yeah, we don't want Jungkook to feel bad, so we're just gonna cover up all his mistakes from every Everyone. No, he's a big pop star who made a mistake. Also, it was a car crash with minor incidents. They didn't know it was minor at the time when they were trying to cover it up because it was still ongoing. I don't care about the car crash. People get in car crashes all the time. If he caused it, great. No one died. But as long as he was just a decent human, fine. But it's the lengths these fans are going up to just cover that. Not, not, not even bad. Imagine if he did something actually bad. They would try and cover it up so hard. Which is such a dangerous thing to do to someone, to idolize someone like a god, where you will do anything and cover up their mistakes. Humans make mistakes, and they do make a mistake, and they're a massive pop star. It's gonna be out on social media. You can't do anything about it. You tried to, but unfortunately, I have a keen nose. Another justification was, so you're saying we still can't protect our idol, who we look up to? Try to make him feel like we haven't left him for a silly mistake? I'm sure he doesn't think you've left him because he got in a car crash. There's many other ways to show your support to your favorite idols without trying to cover his ass and cover up any mistakes he makes. It's, that is not the way to go. So with my personal situation, my personal experience, which did prompt me to make this video, you can see how brainwashed these kids are. But after this, I wanted to research and look into K-pop fans and see, was this just me? Or do they just do this to everyone? Oh man, it gets so much worse. I couldn't believe what I found. One of the main things I noticed when I was getting all these tweets was that there was a pattern where I was getting these like creepy, to me they were just creepy weird videos of these K-pop singers like dancing and singing 
just random ones I had no idea of. I was just like, what, what the, f like, what the shit? Like, I just don't know what this is. I don't want to see it. I hated it. But apparently this is a huge, huge thing in the K-pop stan community called fan cam. I think the best way to describe it is something K-pop fans do. They tweet it under popular tweets or just tweets about K-pop to try and get views and like promote and show their favorite K-pop artists. Like, I still don't really get it, but I know they're doing it to try and get views and like kind of promote their favorite artist. If you've been on Twitter, you've definitely seen a K-pop fan cam. They're everywhere. But these idiots take it to the next level. In order to get views and clicks on these videos, which is what they care about, they post them under like tragic events that are happening and announcements of people passing away. Or I'll give you some examples. When Etika sadly passed away, someone made a tribute to him saying, I am deeply saddened to hear that we have recently lost a valuable member of the Smash Bros community. Let us all remember Edgar's strong humor and charisma and honor his life that truly put the joy in Joy-Con boys. Underneath was a reply saying, maybe if he stand her, what with one of these annoying as shit videos, fan cams, just some bimbo dancing to this god awful music. More recently, Juice World passed away. You know, a horrible event which shocked everyone. Did they care? No. Maybe if Juice World did this. Maybe if Juice World stand Luna, he wouldn't have to hide the pills. Maybe if Juice World stand Itzy. Literally hours after he passed, these morons are posting underneath, promoting their favorite artists. They just don't give a fuck. Louis Tomlinson of One Direction. His sister passed away at the age of 18. Guess what the crazy K-pop fans did? You guessed it. Maybe if Louis Tomlinson's sister stand Luna. Crying emoji. Louis Tomlinson told me to tell you all to stand Blackpink. Again, with a dumb fuck fan cam. Maybe if she stand hashtag Luna, quoting a tweet that was announcing the death of his sister. Other users on Twitter have also clocked this insanely disrespectful behavior and have tweeted about it. Loads of tweets describing K-pop fans doing this a lot because it happens so often. You have probably seen this behavior. I don't even doubt it in my mind. If you guys are on Twitter, you've seen something like this. This is one of the main examples of how these fans are easily the most toxic fans I've ever come across. And I don't really care. People calling me mean names and stuff. I don't care about but just these fans are out of control. They're like crazy. Another event that occurred on the H3H3 podcast, he spoke out and said this about K-pop. I'm, I'm just going to say it right now. I don't like K-pop. I hate K-pop. I don't get BTS. K-pop? They look like they're just a bunch of... How did this become a thing in Western culture where all these grown men and little girls are jerking off to little k-pop boys and guess what a similar theme with what happened to me they tried to shut him up and tried to make sure he couldn't say anything bad about anything to do with k-pop hashtag h3h3 is over party was trending like instantly all because he doesn't like k-pop you're not allowed to say anything bad or they're gonna try and cancel you or mass report you and get you banned off the website and this h3h3 incident isn't the first time k-pop kiddies have tried to cancel someone over them just not liking k-pop honestly we ultimately just need to get rid of these k-pop fans on twitter they're insane i don't care if you like k-pop if you're a fan of k-pop cool i like music too you can like whatever music you want and this by the way goes without saying but i'm sure people who like K-pop will get offended. I'm not talking about you guys who just like K-pop and just sit quietly and don't attack people for not liking it. You're fine. You're just a normal human being who enjoys another genre of music. These other fans, I'm sorry, I've never hated a group of fans more than these. The main way these guys operate is through the fan cams. That's like the big thing. They love fan cams, posting them everywhere. And I saw this funny thing floating around Twitter trying to help people stop K-pop fans and to really stop giving them fan cams views because that's why they do it, just to get views and clicks. So here's a small solution to try and stop giving the fan cams any views. It says, attention, K-pop stands post dancing videos in order to garner views. To stop giving them your views, to stop giving them your views, you should go to settings and privacy, data usage, and turn off autoplay. Help stop K-pop one setting change at a time. Yeah. I'm going to do that right now. And I hope you guys do it too. Shut the fuck up, Alexa. Dumb bitch. You've got on data usage on Twitter. Video autoplay right there. I don't know if you can see it. On mobile or Wi-Fi, you literally can just... Never. Done. Now, in order to play a video, 
which it should be anyway, I will have to actually click the video. Because the amount of K-pop fan cams I've given views, because I'm just scrolling and I'm there and it's all already on, I want to see you guys tweet out this image. Tag me at CavosYT. Let me know you've tweeted about help the cause. We need to try something. I know right now there's no way we can win this war and ban K-pop accounts, but if this is a war, we have to win the small battles first and the fan cams is where it hurts them the most and they get the most views out of people like us. Do everyone a favor. If you tweet me on Twitter proving to me that you've done this, I'm going to follow some of you guys. So is there a specific reason I made this video? Do I want to end K-pop fans forever? I would like to. But I know it won't happen. The main reason I made this video is so I can personally say fuck you to these crazy K-pop stands. If Thanos snapped and only took away the crazy K-pop stands, I'm pretty sure most of humanity would probably be quite okay with that. And I know a lot of K-pop fans who hate these type of fans, who don't want these fans representing K-pop because before I even knew what K-pop was, I knew that they had the worst type of fan. I, I think that is what most people who don't listen to K-pop now refer K-pop to. And if you are one of these fans, and I know these fans will be tweeting me, and if you are one of these fans, you're watching this, and what I've said describes you, maybe just, just chill out a little bit. You know, K-pop's great. Like whatever music you want, man. Do what you want, but don't be shutting down or trying to be this police of Twitter and try and shut down people's opinions because they don't agree with you. That's just messed up. And don't try and cover up your idols' mistakes because your idols make mistakes. If we allow fans to do that, then we will never find out any bad things that ever happen because then fans will think it's okay to be covering up or trying to hide things about your favorite artists, which they actually nearly did. But yeah, I'm back. Thank you so much for watching. Like the video if you enjoyed. Subscribe. Hit that notification bell. It means so much to me. And yeah, thank you so much for watching. And until next time, fuck off.